Hello, one of my beautiful over 6,100 new subscribers. This channel is growing so fast. We're going to talk about AMC stock today. I'm going to give you my thoughts and my opinions and what I think is going on. But I want to thank you very much if you're a subscriber. Amazing. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you. So let's get right down to business. Come on in. Now, let me start off by saying, like I always do, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Take what I say on this video, on this channel regarding stocks or crypto, entertainment purposes only. Make your own decisions, do your own due diligence, and definitely never invest more than you can afford to lose. So with all due respect, I know your time's worth your time. So I want to just get some things out of the way. First of all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel with notifications. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you're holding AMC, smash that like button, show your support. Also, in the description box below, I also have my Twitter, Instagram, all sorts of stuff for you to check out down there. And yes, we do have some affiliate marketing products down there. You know, got to support the channel somehow. And uh, if you can help do that, great. If not, that's great too. I guess what I'm saying is I love you either way. You know what I mean? Whether you're a subscriber or not. If you're a subscriber, I really love you. But either way, I love you nonetheless. And I really love your comments. So definitely make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. The audience would love to hear from you as well. But if you're one of those miserable people out there that are just dropping comments, hateful comments, you know, comments against, against the cause of AMC, you know, God bless you, but I'm going to block you. And the reason being is because we're a community here. It's been growing exponentially. So we're doing something right here. I've been growing exponentially on this channel. So me and my viewers don't really want you around if you're leaving bad comments. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to block you. And you can go back to your miserable little life and we'll continue with our happy little life loving AMC. Wow, that really felt good. And one more thing. I know a lot of people have been having a problem with Weeble and they don't think that Weeble's in it for the cause of AMC. Here's the bottom line. I only have like one share or two shares I think left on Weeble just to kind of see what happens during the squeeze. But here's the deal. Weeble will make you a few dollars, okay? And I'm serious when I say that. If you sign up for a Weeble account with my link below, you'll get up to six free stocks. Now, if you don't love those stocks and they're not, you know, something you want to hold on to, you can sell them and then shoot that cash into your bank account. Go get that money. So let's take a look at what AMC is doing right now and what it's done since the start of trading today. All right, here's where we're at. AMC sitting right now at almost 12 noon Pacific time at about $29.81. Look, we came out the gate at $28.14. Uh, I don't know really what this was all about. Is this some buying pressure? I don't know. I think it's that look the hedge funds have got this stuff down to a science. They know exactly what they need to do to keep it exactly where they want to keep it. And I think there's a lot of news. I think the hedge funds are watching, uh, you know, they're, they're watching a lot of YouTubers. They're watching a lot of comments in the, in the YouTube uh, uh, YouTubers comment sections they're finding out that you know what you drop this price too much we're going to buy the crap out of it and it's going to maybe trigger the squeeze you know so they know what our intentions are there's no doubt in my mind so you know this price action going up and down the the, the volume has been there it was high in the beginning uh volume was at about 176,000 right out the gate came up to one dropped down about 148 now it's down about 95 here at around 10 o'clock this afternoon or this morning and again, nothing much more different. A lot of volatility. Nothing much more different than we've seen since Friday. Okay, I personally think my, my prediction for the end of today going into tomorrow will be at about 30 bucks. Maybe we'll close at 30, 30 and some change. But I mean, look at this. This is just like, you know, they're just toying with us really is what's happening. It's this is just a big you know, FU game, you know, we're, we're, we're playing, we're holding on, we're, we're figuring out what we're really going to do. Cause it's really, I don't think the future of this squeeze and, and what's happening from this point forward towards when the squeeze actually starts. Uh, I don't think, I don't think the hedges are really in control of this anymore. You know, like I said before, this is a, this is an event. 
an event that's going to be, it's not going to be managed anymore, I don't think, because the hedge funds are going to manage this to their advantage or disadvantage. This is orchestrated now. This is something that the big dogs, the, the mega big dogs, the, the shot callers really are, are coming in. You know, the DTCC, you got the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Department of Justice, major investigations all over their stuff, you know, and they got to they got to take some time. This is not something that can just like, OK, this is how we're going to do it. This is something that's going to be orchestrated. It has to be done properly for a number of reasons. You know, you got to think about this. AMC and GameStop are the two massive upsets right now. These things, look, we know the math. We know the short interest is off the hook. It's absolutely astronomical. We know that the, the naked shorts, we know, we know the synthetic shares are in the billions. We, we've, we know this because we have members of the Ape community that have do, done their due diligence, like Al from Boston, great guy, has done some really interesting work and really uh, you know, shed some light. And not just him, but others, shed some light on what we didn't know and how much, and, and now that that information has become public, you got the DOJ coming into it. You got the, you know, the, everybody's coming into it and really looking at this microscopically. Here's what I think. I don't think the the Fed is going to not pay us. I don't think, but it's not the Fed, but they're not going to not let us get paid. I think we're going to get paid very well because if they don't, and, and remember this, we are, let me say this the right way. YouTubers and the people that watch YouTube and the ape community, we're all a part of this. We have a say in this and they know that. And this is not just the United States. This is worldwide, man. This is, if you're watching this from another country, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. Uh, but, but definitely think about this. They're monitoring these channels. They're monitoring your comments. They want to know who these people are, where they're from, and, and are they really serious? And guess what? We are very serious. I will take my shares of AMC to the grave and I will will them to my next of kin. You know what I mean? That's how serious I am. I'm not selling this until it is at a number that is going to make me happy. Okay? And they're watching this type of stuff. Trust me, because we're it. I mean, we are it. And, you know, hedge funds, guess what? They're going bye-bye. In my opinion, I don't think they're going to be any more hedge funds around. They're just, and, it, and it's sad, really, for the people that have invested money in the hedge funds, you know, because that's what it's all about. Hedge funds are there to make you money, to take your $100,000 or your million dollars or your $100 million, you give it to a hedge fund and they manage your money. They take your money and they, they do investments and they do what they do and they do these short squeeze plays. But what a lot of these people don't understand is hedge funds make some, some plays that destroy businesses. Hedge funds make some plays, a lot of plays, obviously with these, like we're seeing now, is they make plays that are destroying families. They make plays that are, you know, the, the little babies are not going to be able to eat tonight because daddy just got clipped. His job is no longer there. That's what these people that invest in the hedge funds don't really maybe understand. Whether they do or not, they're still part of the problem because they're giving the money to the hedge funds. So, you know, I'd like to say my hats are off to you, but guess what? It's the apes time to shine. It's the biggest transfer of wealth in American history about to happen, in my humble opinion. Could I be wrong? We all could be wrong. Am I right? Probably. Because let me tell you something, the math is there. The research has been done. And that little glitch with TD Ameritrade and E-Trade on the 40% high interest or whatever it was, guess what? The math is there. The proof is in the pudding. You've been found out. And now the Fed's involved. The DOJ's involved. Everybody's involved in this. And if they don't make good on at least these two, AMC and GameStop, I mean, there's others that are down the road that they're going to have to make good on too. But if they don't make good on that, 
I know for sure none of the apes will ever put a penny back into the stock market. I don't think the stock market will have any more credibility with the rest of the world. Really? I mean, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and also let them know if you're from the United States, let them know where you're from. Another country, say, ain't holding strong in bleep, wherever you're from. Put that in the comment section below because I'm telling you, they watch these channels. I'm telling you, their little operatives are out there checking stuff out to see how bad this really is. And we need to let them know we're not going anywhere. And we're serious. This is serious business. You're, you fucking my money? Come on now. It's my money. It's your money. A lot of people's entire nest egg is probably invested in some of this, you know, with AMC. And I feel for you. I get it. And they're not taking that away from us. They're not going to take it away from us. You know, there's a lot of good YouTubers out there that talk about the lines and the charts. And let me tell you something, the lines and the charts don't mean anything when it comes to this AMC squeeze and what's about to happen and what we've been seeing, because it's all been manipulated. We're finding out the entire stock market's probably been heavily manipulated. My prediction going into January, February, massive bleed out, massive bleed out, especially with everything that's coming down the pike, everything, all the ripple effects. And like I said, I did a video called The Perfect Storm a little bit ago, maybe four or five months ago. And this is it, The Perfect Storm. I, I predicted this. The housing market's going to take a crap. The economy's going to take a crap. Market's going to take a crap. All because of this smoke and mirror show that the big market makers have been creating for so long. And they've been creating this for a while. This is not new. This is the way this market's been operating for so long. But it's all about to change next year because of the new regulations. And, and rightfully so. It should. It needs to. It needs to. If there's going to be trust and, and faith in the United States stock market and really our economy. So, like I said, we got nothing to worry about. We're going to get paid. This is going to get taken care of. And you know what? Even if the hedge fund, and that's why I think the market's going to take a poop, is because hedge funds have a lot of long positions. They might be in Apple or Tesla or Microsoft or Amazon. Massive blue chippers, right? Big, big, big money. A lot of money invested in long positions but they're gonna to have to liquidate those puppies if we're gonna get paid. They're, not, they're going bye-bye. You got, you got already a few just went psh, vaporized already. They're like, tap out, I'm gone, bye-bye. You guys deal with this. And they're done. There's gonna be money there. There's, I don't know if there's gonna be that much money there, but there's gonna be plenty of money for us all to be very, very happy. I'm convinced of that. Because like I said, if not, and let them know in the comment section below, because like I said, they're operatives are checking out these channels, not just mine. Who am I? I only got 6,100 subscribers. Thank you very much. We've grown, by the way, exponentially, all because of you. Thank you so much. So share this video on your social networks. Let people know what's going on. Let people know this, and it's not too late. Again, not financial advice. I'm not an advisor. Do your own due diligence. I get my information from my dog. However, it's not too late to get into this thing. It's only what, 39 or $29, 30 bucks. It might, let me see where we're at. $29.47 right this second. Where on earth can you take potentially $29.47 and turn it into 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, or like my, my boy Al from Boston, love that guy, a million dollars a share. Where on that, where were you ever, when will you ever have that opportunity to do that again? Right? Even if it's a thousand dollars a share, 30 to a thousand, I'll take that. I'll take that money. Give me that money. Go get that money. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what we're going to see. Because the math's there, the paper trail is there. Even if they, you know, pull a Hillary Clinton and, and smash all. The, the hard drives and, 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 and burn all and shred all the papers, we still know the numbers. They have been reported. Bloomberg, yada, yada, yada. They're reported. We know the numbers. We know the numbers. It took guys like Al to, to sit back and really dig in to see what, uh, you know, I, I'm convinced. Are you convinced? I'm convinced. I'm happy. I just can't wait for this to be over. But I will tell you this. 
It's over when I say it's over. It's over when you say it's over, right? You got to pick your number, whatever that number is, boop, pick, choose, sell, and that's it. You're done. On to bigger and better plays. They'll be out there. Crypto. Don't even get me started on crypto. We talk a lot about crypto on this channel. <laughs> and cryptocurrency is going to be the thing moving forward, period. I've been saying that for months. Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, although it doesn't really have any functional value to it, it's got, it's got only a limited number of coins. And that's why it's worth what it's worth. And that's why we've seen. And it's called the dark pool. That's why a lot of these hedge funds, they hide money in there. They, they'll pump up a coin like Bitcoin from $7,000 to $60,000, which is insane, all the way back down to $30,000 to liquidate and cash out and, and, and ruin your bank account. That's what these hedge funds do. But coins like, I think Ethereum, I think, first of all, I think Bitcoin, in quarter one of 2022, we're gonna see $100,000 Bitcoin. That's what I think, or more, or more. But I wouldn't go into Bitcoin. I'd go into Ethereum. Ethereum's at about $3,000, $4,000 right now. 3,500, whatever it is, I think you're going to see a $10,000 Ethereum quarter one, 2022. Mark my words. You heard it here. Uh, follow me on Twitter. If you haven't already, links in the description. I do a lot of signals on Twitter. Talk about these things too, like that. Uh, drop some dime pieces. But, you know, like I said, this is going to be sick. And if you've stayed with me this long on this video, thank you very much. But I really want to get out what I'm feeling. And I, and I think you share those same, those thing, same thoughts. Um, it's, it's going to be a beautiful, next year is going to be a beautiful thing. It really is. We're not going to see a squeeze. What, tomorrow we're going to see a squeeze? I don't think so. Uh, I think you got Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, a lot of businesses are off. They got a few days to really think about what they're going to do. This is not a happy holiday season for the hedge funds. This is not a happy holiday season for the feds that are working on this case because they got a lot of work to, they got a lot of work to do. You know, they got a ton of work to do. And uh, it is what it is, but we're gonna come out ahead. But cryptocurrency moving forward, AMC stock, we're gonna be beautiful. Cryptocurrency will be a little bit further down the road. We'll gear you up. I'll tell you some of the moves that I'm making moving uh, moving forward. And but I think there's other plays. There's you know you're going to have Sundial. Let's see what Sundial's been doing today. Sundial's up 1.74 percent. It's at 60 cents. That's about to go sick. Uh, let's see. And that's after AMC. I don't think we're going to see squeezes on Sundial and, and Progenity, uh, BMRA, BioAmerica. I don't think we're going to see those go rocket ship. The big play right now is AMC and GameStop, but you know, for, for $29 and what's it now? 32 cents. It's coming down at a notch. Uh, you can't afford not to, you know what I mean? I mean, again, not financial advice. I don't know what I'm talking about, but what I do know is if I have an extra 30 bucks or $29 and 32 cents, I'm putting my money on AMC because that's going to pay off like a mofo. Uh, but down the road, once we clear that, once those monies come in and we're <laughs> lovely, then we're going into Clover. Then I'm going into Progenity. And yeah, check this out, hedge funds. That's what I'm doing. And that's what a lot of people I think are going to be doing based on what I've heard on the interweb. So that's it, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please make sure if you're from a different country or whatever state you're from, drop it down in the comments. I want to hear something like, you know, Apes holding, or I'm holding from wherever, or Ape Strong, Mississippi, wherever it is, wherever you're from, drop it, show some love, smash that like button. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so with notifications. And we're growing. By the by, if you've been here this long, you stayed through this video. Here's the here's the pl here's the plus. When I hit 10,000 subscribers, which I think we'll see in January, I'm going to start running contests. Of course, we're going to throw some AMC t-shirts. I'm going to give five t-shirts away to some of the commenters, a couple hoops to jump through, but no big deal. I'll give five of those AMC t-shirts away. By the way, if you want one sooner, links in the description. Um, we're also going to be doing drops. I will airdrop contest. I'll have a contest where I'm airdropping cryptocurrency. So we might start with a hundred dollar airdrop of a cryptocurrency. I'm going to do that for you as well for a thank you. So hope you enjoyed this video. 
comment, like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. God bless.